السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان شاء اللہ وی ول آل بی سیلیبریٹنگ عید الفطر ٹمارو واٹ از دا ہیپی عید ریئل ہیپی عید عید الفطر آر Ramadan Eid is celebrated as a day of thanksgiving to God after successful completion of the month-long fasting from dawn to dusk during Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar. And on sighting the crescent moon of the tenth month called Shawwal, Ramadan is meant for fasting, worship and charity and also for self-introspection for the purpose of purification of one's soul and body by giving up bad and attaining good things. The Holy Quran says fasting is prescribed to you as it was to those before you so that you may learn to self restraint fasting brings people together and creates a sense of camaraderie among them it inculcates in them righteous conduct to be good people and brotherhood of man by eradicating evils such as anger greed and malice Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said do not belittle even the smallest act of kindness even if it is no more than meeting your neighbor with a smiling and cheerful face we should not consider any charity small or not worth doing charity big or small should be given in a pleasant manner without hurting the feeling of its receivers and with the thought that we are only discharging a religious duty from the wealth god has given us according to islam even our day to day acts like being kind to others at home and outside our charity and it makes a big difference in our relations with them once when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was on his way to eidga for eid prayers he saw a poor boy about 5 years old sitting on the pavement Sadly, he went near him and asked, Why are you alone here, my dear boy? The boy started weeping and said, I am an orphan with nobody to care for me. The prophet could not bear the pathetic words of the poor boy and consoled him, saying, From now on, you can look to me as your father and aisha as your mother and returned home with him when his wife aisha fed him and dressed him well for eid prayers the prophet lifted him on his shoulders and said aisha this is the happiest eid for me i experience true happiness at the happiness of this little orphan boy he was a great benefactor of humanity and his mission right from the beginning to end was to see that every individual maintained his self respect free from any sort of slavery
wishing Eid Mubarak. Thank you for your listening.